Well, a break in a decades old murder mystery, a body that was found on a local canal 46 years ago, finally identified. The development bringing closure to a daughter who grew up wondering what happened to her mother. NBC6 reporter Lisa Hyman is live in Davie tonight with how hard work and major advancements help with the break. A major update in a 46 year old cold case homicide investigation. For decades, the victim's identity has been a mystery. But Davy detectives announced Tuesday they've been able to identify the woman as Carolyn Dunn Mowdy. We put a name, a life, and a story to this young woman. We first told you about the case in October 2020, about a year after detectives and a team of scientists exhumed the woman's body from Forest Lawn Cemetery in hopes of identifying her and solving the homicide. A young female was walking down the canal and she observed what appeared to be a, a, a body floating in the water. The Davy detectives took us to that scene where she was found back in 1975. The ME's office determined she drowned, but the circumstances surrounding the case suggested homicide. After exhuming her remains, they were able to release a description and an image of what the woman might have looked like. The remains were very well preserved such that the skeleton was nearly complete. They were also able to extract DNA, which is what led to the most recent break. I really had to work hard to piece this family tree together. Cece Moore is the chief genetic genealogist with Parabon. She analyzed the victim's DNA and uses two specific databases to try and match it to distant relatives. If I build the trees of the people who share DNA with her, I can identify common ancestors. And then I can build forward. I built dozens of trees and I was able to narrow it down to a specific county in Mississippi. We knew she had to have deep roots there on both sides of her family. And then I identified an extended family that I thought she must come from. And they were able to track down living family members whose loved one, Carolyn Dunn Mowdy, went missing in July of 1974, including Mowdy's daughter, Edna, whose DNA confirmed the parent child relationship. Because all these years I was just trying to search for her, but I'm just thankful that my mom is my best friend and that. Um, She's in my heart. And so the homicide investigation continues. Moore says genetic genealogy has only been used in law enforcement for less than four years, but she says they've already been able to solve more than 200 cases. She also says that law enforcement is not allowed to use the databases from some of those major consumer DNA testing companies like 23andMe and Ancestry for this purpose. She says she has to use two much smaller databases, which can make it much more difficult. For now, we're live in Davie tonight. Alyssa Hyman, NBC6 News.